Drag and drop is an easy way to bring content into your brain. Let's start with web pages. Whenever you find a web page that you'd like to visit again in the future, simply drag the URL from the address bar right into your brain. Drop it under the current active thought. This will create a new child thought with an attachment that is the web link. The brain will pick up the thought name from the actual web page tab. This can easily be renamed if desired. Also notice that the web page loads in the content window with the brain's built-in browser. Additionally, you can attach a web link to an existing thought. Just drag and hover over the desired thought, then drop. You can also drag and drop files and URLs into the content area. Dropping here will add the attachment to the current active thought. Dragging and dropping files into your brain is just as easy and includes a few more options. I can select a file from a folder or directly from my desktop and drag and drop into an existing thought or below to create that new thought with the file name as the new thought name. The default for dragging and dropping a file into the brain is to create a copy. The original budget document is still on my desktop but now I have an internal copy of this file in my brain. There are a few simple keystrokes you can use if you prefer to link the file or move the file into the brain. I'm on a Windows machine today, so if I'd like to link the file into my brain, I'll press and hold the Alt key to create a link to my kickoff meeting document. If I look at the attachment tab for this thought, I can see where the actual document resides. The icon for this thought also indicates that it's a shortcut with a small black arrow. If I prefer to move a file into my brain, I'll simply press the shift key while I drag and drop. And my requirements PDF has been moved from its original location into my brain. As you can see, the Mac OS modifiers are slightly different. Make a quick note and experiment with which option works best for your environment. Additionally, in the brain preferences, you can change the default setting so that the brain will always move, copy, or link dropped files, depending on your preference. Drag and drop works in your notes as well. Some content types, such as URLs and images, can be dropped directly into the notes editor. For this recipe, I'll drop a picture right into an existing note. And finally, drag and drop can also be used to move content or copy information from your brain into other applications. For example, let's say I'm writing an email and I want to attach something from my brain. I just drag the attachments tab from my brain and drop it into the email message.